Hello to all the fly people watching this video. Ask Abby This is a new segment that I'm starting on my channel. And when I receive questions on my videos, I will respond to some of the questions with the video. Of course, I respond one on one, but I respond with the video. So, um, I had a chance to just kind of interact with um, some other lock wearers on the Facebook group, Sister Locked and Loved It. If you have not joined that group, go check it out. Um, so, I had a question asked by someone who is a part of that group. And the question was, how do I continue to be patient in order to get to um, the length you want? And so I was transparent. I shared that um, I'm actually impatient sometimes. I know that it is a journey. So even when I was loose natural, I saw that my hair went from pinky length, because my hair was pinky length at one point, went from pinky length to barely dusting my shoulders. So I know hair can grow. Also, um, realize that it just takes time. Realize, realize that it just takes time. Realize that it just takes time. So that's the key to remember. Hair will not grow overnight to the length you want it to. It takes time. So just keep that in mind. Also, document your journey, meaning take pictures, do videos. And when you feel like, man, my hair is not where I want it to be yet, look back over your pictures. And when you look back over those pictures, you'll see the O. Oh, my hair is not where I want it to be yet, but it has grown. When I look back over some of my pictures, I'm like, man, it seems like ages ago when my hair was at that length, or I can't believe my hair has gone from that length to this length. And from day to day, or month to month, I don't realize the growth. But when I take pictures and I look back at those pictures, I'm like, man, my hair is longer than I thought it was. Or it's longer than it was uh, last year at this time. So another key, not only remember that it takes time, also, document your journey by taking pictures. That helps you to realize that your hair is progressing. Um, and I don't have a magic tip for speeding up that process. Just continue to maintain healthy hair. And that is by oiling your hair, washing your hair. If um, you get your hair retightened, make sure that you're on a schedule where you're getting retightened uh, the same amount of time. So let's say... If you go every six weeks or every eight weeks, go every six or eight weeks. Don't go 10 months, excuse me, 10 weeks one, one time and then 12 months another time. You want to keep that consistency. And that'll help to aid in your, you know, your hair growth. Um, but just give it time. Document your journey. Those are the two things of advice I can give you for being patient while you wait on your length. Um... I've shared this before, but my hair is the longest it's ever been in my life. And I'm just so curious and I'm so anxious to see how my hair will look and what styles I can do once my hair gets to my goal length. And my goal length is all the way down my back, so right to my butt. I, um, I always joke with people and they say, um, when are you going to cut your hair? And I, I would always say, when it's touching the ground. I don't ever see myself wearing my hair all the way to the ground. But if I can get to um, butt length, I think that would be nice. I even get, think that if I get down there, I'd wear it like that for a little while. And then I'll cut it to like a manageable length, which may be like mid-back. And right now, I am really close to mid-back in the very back of my hair. But the top, I think it's being slow poke. But so I even get impatient sometimes. So if you watch this video, look back over to my old videos. You see that my hair was one short. <laughs> And it does grow. It just takes time and a way to remember that your hair is progressing. Snap pictures. I've documented just about every retighten I've had. I've documented styles I've done. And it helps to look back over those and be like, that was four years ago. And look at my hair now. So I hope this advice has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'll be sure to get them out in one of my Ask IBYL videos. And if this has been helpful for you, make sure to thumbs up and make sure to share it across all the social media. Continue to keep it fly and fabulous.
wash my hair in sections and um, I use a natural shampoo bar and sometimes I still use the Sisolak um, 